just doing the golf and then I'll come down and come. Speak the truth to my soul. Play it. It's in his eyes. Look at it. Where's the summer gone? Is it ended? I tell you what though. This is when we must stay disciplined. This, if you can stay disciplined from this little transition from summer to... There's this dickhead that drives around my area, yeah? Discipline, Tom, ignore it, it's just a noise. <sighs> Namaste. It's just... Do you know what I mean? It's a, it's a village. It's chat village. What you... Ah, oh God! He really annoys me. What do you think we're all going to do? Oh. Anyway, discipline is key between this little transitional. If you can stay disciplined from end of summer into like autumn into winter, perfect. It's very easy to stay in bed now. The alarm went off, it was ringing outside. Oh, it's nice and cosy. Get up. Stretch, meditate, journal, cold shower exposure. Bang, start the day. Gonna go down to the gym in a minute. Little vlog today, just a little vloggy vlog. Gonna go and meet Gigi for some breakfast in London Bridge at 10. I'm gonna go to, to Night Town, treat myself. You know, I haven't been up there in a while. And uh, now I'm doing a lot more activity. Can you see me all right? Now I'm doing a lot more running. Wanna get a few bits of bobs. We had a good, good couple of months, really good intake. Invested some money back into the business. Exciting new project in the new year. Got to look after number one now and again, so gonna get a few bits and bobs, take you through a, like a Nike clothes haul. And then we'll see where the day takes us. Your eyes shine like black coals. Your lips speak the truth to my soul. back yet but like he's just he's on the scene a little coffee with Gigi that's a nice uh, thanks, nice. Thanks very much. no worries that's my my pleasure I'm buttering him up I'm buttering him up <laughs> Thank you. a successful shot Shh, slithering Shh. two seconds Thank you. Beautiful. Right, so Gigi, Gordon Greenhorn, who you saw a second ago, recommended a couple of books. Still Like an Artist by Austin Cleon and, bear with me, it might be downstairs, nice here. And The 22 Immutable Laws of Marketing. These two, I'll go as far as to say these two books have kind of, I wouldn't say changed my life, but changed my life in a way, in like a business way. Got to get them. Boom, boom, that's your homework for today's episode of TM Cycles. In this book, Still Like an Artist, Austin talks about digital and analog stations. Digital being iPads and Techie Gear, Macs, MacBook, and analog, scruffy, paper, drawings. So what I've done is I've gone and bought like a big fuck off whiteboard like from primary, like secondary school, big one from Amazon. It's like 30 quid. And I'm gonna divide my room, my office up into digital and analog. Because the perfectionist on us, when we're doing our digital stuff, it kind of uh, it dampens our creativity sometimes because we've got the ability to go, nah, delete. With all this stuff, drawings and whatnot, it's hard to, so. Oh. 
I'm the teacher now. Role reversal. Ooh, Tom has got the potential to do well, but he don't. But he don't what, miss? I remember. I don't think I forgot about you. I ain't gonna mention your name. Now look at me. I'm putting up whiteboards in my office. Where's your office? You ain't got office. You got a staff room. Dickhead. Exactly. You never believed in me, did you? Doesn't matter though, because I believed in myself. And now look at this. The product of my environment. The last 10 years, all of this is me. Exactly. There was one teacher who believed in me though. John Budden, my English teacher. Legend of a man. Icon. Absolute salt he was as well. All the mums are, all the mums are, at school, what's it called? Parents eating. <laughs> he had a queue, he had a queue of parents. Don't even think he taught any of their kids, there was just a queue for him. He wrote a book as well. Hold on, bear with me. We can add it to the, uh, to the list of books I've recommended in this vlog. John Budden. No, it's not on there. Oh, there it is. Everything happens in August. My English teacher wrote that. One pound twenty-one. Oh no. How many stars has it got? Two and a half. Nah, 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 nah. It was a good book. Do not buy this utter rubbish. This is probably the worst book I've ever read. One star is far too generous. Luckily, it was a book I didn't have to pay for. If I had, I would have asked my money back. I can't believe that this had such good reviews. To compare the writing to Tom Sharp is such an insult. Who are you? Bopa. Look at this hater. All the other reviews are good. All the other reviews are good than this one. I bet you know what that is? I bet that's a rival teacher from a rival school. Dickhead. Ever talk about John like that? Anyway. This is my analog bit. I was gonna think about getting two desks, but that's overkill. So this is for me planning out MetFlow for next year. January 2nd release date is gonna be sick. 50 day challenge. We're moving. All right, it's all the dog. This is like the goat pre workout for me at the moment. I absolutely love it. Before my runs, before my cycle, like isolated cardio only, so runs and cycles like on a Sunday. 100 grams of oats. And then I have honey, dark chocolate, and frozen mixed berries and a black coffee. Woof. And what happens is this effect, yeah, like these, these strawberries. When they get warmed up a little bit, it's like, how can I describe it? Like a, an ice pole or something. Let's do a night call, it's been a while. Now, I'm still holding on to summer, autumn, so there's no long sleeves and there's no zips. I'll get that when I need to get it, but I'm gonna try as long as possible to like, see this summer out. What I will also do is, for every product mentioned, I'll put the code on the screen, and that way you can just, if you fancy buying it that way, you can just go on to Nike and type in the code. So, I'll just pull them out at random. We have a, a couple of vests. We've got the Nike Running Division vest. I really like this particular pattern, this camo on the back, the Nike tick on the back and then black on the front. The Nike Running Division t-shirts I dislike, I despise. Even in a medium, if I go a size lower, the neck on the night running division tees are, ugh, they're grim. Even if you like layer a few chains on it, you still look a little bit kind of year seven in oversized school shirt look. The night running division vests and zips are absolutely fine, but the tees I don't like. The tees I just get the, the usual night running. So I've got a couple of vests. Really enjoy running in the vest. Started doing it when I was in Madrid, and then when I got back here, I was doing a few runs in my vest as well. Just a lot better than a t-shirt, innit? So I've got a couple of vests. We have just a, so this is the, just a, a regular black running, night running t-shirt. This neck is absolutely fine. And the fit on the arm is, is also okay. I think I've got a size down. I'm getting mediums now, guys. TM Cycle's gone from XL to L to medium. I wear like a large in most like actual clothes, but I think the gym stuff, the night stuff in particular, it has a tendency to be a little, do you know what I mean? So I like a tighter, more fitted look. So I've gone for mediums on a lot of the t-shirts and I think they're the mediums on the vests as well. 
for reference, I am 86 kilos at the moment, five foot 11 and three quarters. Call it six foot, I'm six foot. So I'm getting a medium on those. We have another camo t-shirt. Their current range at the moment is really nice. I'm not a huge fan of the night trail stuff if I'm being completely honest with you. There's a few nice pieces, but this particular look that they've got going across the board on both their running, night running and night trail stuff is really nice. I quite like the, the kind of almost subtle camo. It's not really too in your face, but a couple of t-shirts there. We have, so this one is training gear. So running and training. So when I'm in the gym doing my Metcon work or any conditioning work or any lifting, I tend to favor just like a nice cotton t-shirt like this one. Hard work pays off. So I've got a couple of things. I've got this and then the Nike Pro one as well. So this is for training as opposed to like my running. We've got another t-shirt, nice sort of peachy colored one. This is the, just the, again, the Nike running dry fit stuff. Really nice. Love these, I think they're perfect, spot on. If you're after a, a nice, if you're after a good company that does great bang for your buck, then go on Primo. Primo on Instagram. Should have really reached out to them to you, but I just like, I like going up here to Nike Town. It's, uh, it's like an occasion, isn't it? It's nice, go and grab a coffee, a bit of breakfast with Gigi, going to Nike Town. But yeah, Primo will, will sort you out. Come on to the shorts in a second. I think I've got one more t-shirt just to train in, which is just the Nike Pro. Like these t-shirts, these are spot on. The neck on these is lovely as well, spot on. You know, like a, a neck. Medium on both. And we have another vest. We're going, we're going out there, guys. We're going in, we're going full running. Look at this, this green, it's lovely. Look at that, night running, that's just a night running vest. Spot on that, innit? I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get it. Lovely color. So what I did with that, the vision behind that was green and then black shorts. Are these the five inch? Yeah, so these are the five inch shorts, the running ones, so I thought green and black and then reverse colorway those style shorts with a black vest that we've got and then i finally just got some standard shorts these are the stride i think they're called so these shorts i absolutely love these are what i train in when i'm lifting upper body sessions lower body sessions push pull legs whatever these i love them they've got the design whereby you've got the inside as well so it saves you having to buy a like uh, same difference to buy any of that material underneath. But yeah, I really love these. These are the two in one strides. So I've got a couple of pairs of these. My original pair, they're pretty faded. These are just the relaxed pair that I tend to use, but I'm gonna get a few more pairs of stride. There we go, it's just a little Nike clothes haul. I'm now gonna have coffee, some oats, and I'm gonna go for a run. For reference, this is what the running division vest and five inch shorts look like. Medium vest, large shorts. I have also ordered a new pair of runners because these particular trainers that I've got on now, running shoes, are more designated for your race work. So I've ordered a pair of Nike Invincibles Flyknit 2. So they should be coming on Tuesday and that will be like my kind of, my, like my daily runner. So when I want to do my, my PVs, my 5Ks and whatnot, I run with these. I said I was going to the gym, don't know why I said that. I'm not going to the gym, I'm going to go around Norman's Park. I've literally got Norman's Park on my doorstep, which is, I think a full thing is two key, two, two kilometers, a full circle. So if you want to do a 5K, you look at two and a half. Much better 5K around Norman's, 26 minutes, 18 seconds. This is handy, I didn't think this was coming until Tuesday because of bank holiday. Every actually pulled it out of the bag. Well done. Got some socks in there as well. I'll show you them in a second. So, running shoes. I've been originally using the Nike Zoom X Vaporfly Next 2%, but I've been told these are for like your race, that these should be like 
prioritise for your 5k, 10k work. They shouldn't be your everyday runners. Being informed by like proper runners and that. When I say proper runners, I also am referring to George Hickton. He's been very good. And he is in a similar position to me, relatively like, we're not, most runners that you see I'd say are quite skinny, aren't they? I'm 86k at the moment. So I need a good bit of support and a good bit of cushion when I'm running. These have been fantastic. Been banging these the last couple of weeks, took them to Madrid, did my seven and a half K, did my 10K, did my 5K, did my 5K that you just saw in these. But now I'm increasing the frequency of my running. I need to save these just for the... You're probably thinking, Tom, just fucking get on with it, mate. Just buy a pair of runners and get on with it. There is that, but I'm... I need to have like the best stuff. I don't even know where that comes from. I think it comes from being a child and not really having a lot. And now I'm very grateful that I'm in a position whereby I'm like, yeah, I can invest in a decent pair of running shoes. So these are my like everyday runners, which are the Nike Zoom X Invincibles. Oh, I thought they were dirty then, but it's just a stitching. Whoa, I've gone white. I have not worn a white pair of trainers I think ever. I don't buy white trainers. But you know what I see looking sick? A.D. Gillespie. <sighs> Jesus, that guy. I was like, you know what? Let me bite the bullet and get a pair of white runners. So these are going to be for my everydays. I'll give them a little review next week. I might do a full week of training next week, you know? I'm half tempted. I think you lot like the other one, and I won't run any ads on it again, don't worry. I didn't run any ads on it in the first place, but got two weeks before the London to Brighton, so it'd be quite good to give you an insight into how my training is going. Taking a huge deduction in actual training volume and feeling like tenfold better. And I've been running that program for the last two or three weeks, much better. Anyway, we are, it's bad luck to have them on the table, isn't it? So these are, the new everyday runners. Wow. Every day when I'm doing my 5Ks in that. Socks, very important the sock. I like a sock that goes past the ankle. You've seen my training footage that I, I... Ankle socks. No. What socks the best? Well, what I did was I zoomed in on A.D. Gillespie's Instagram photos. And I was like, well then I went on the Nike website and I was like, right, where's these ones that he's wearing? So I've got these ones, they've got like a, a, a circular little gray bit at the top. Nike Spark Crew. That's the name of the socks that I like. Not too high, not too low. So I've got a couple of white pairs and a couple of black pairs. There we go. What's next? Running sunglasses? I'm sure I can just run, I'm sure I can just wear my cycling sunglasses. I don't need a pair of running sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm sure I can just wear them. So there we go, guys. That's just a little Nike clothes haul slash best running trainer. I say best, best suited to me as an individual. I'm slightly heavier than most usual runners, so I need a bit more cushioning, I put a little poll out on Instagram, a lot of people said these, some people said Hoka, Hoka, however you say it, but I thought, you know what, like Apple, I'm a bit of a Nike whore, I have my little weird Adidas phase, remember that, no, so yeah, Nike, okay, there we go, go look at that, Sun, what's the time, half seven, it's getting a little bit darker now, oh no, alright, see you next week, I'll do a full week of training. I will. Thank you for watching this video. Any questions at all on like running and that, don't ask me. No, you can ask me if you want. I'm doing 5Ks and 10Ks and that now. <sighs> Unbelievable. All right, see you in the next video. Thank you, good night. Much love. Might keep this bit in. You see my thought process behind the thumb now. No, just one. You got envisage, yeah, in your mind. The way that I do my thumbnails is that I split into two. So we want to kind of think about the framing and push it 
a little bit further on this side so that will take up the that will take up a little bit of the and then on that side I'll probably put like me with a night bag or something or me in the gym gear TM Cycles Creator Academy 2024 <sighs> that's a long way away we might bring it early but it was good meeting with Gigi and he's on my case See you later.